Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Geomologist Presents. Today, we're going to play Top Secret New World Order, and our GM for tonight is going to be B.J. Boyd of the Arcane Alienist. I think that's all I need to say. Top Secret is like a spy type of game, um, and B.J. will probably talk more about it and give its origins a little bit. But take it away, B.J. Okay. So, I, I am not the GM tonight. I am the administrator. <laughs> that's that's the title for the game master in Top Secret. So this is this is the newest version of Top Secret. It came out a few years ago. It is not the the, the original TSR version, either of the TSR versions, although it was co-designed. Or I think the lead designer on this is, is Merle Rasmussen, who was the designer of the original Top Secret. Uh, I got to meet him, as I've mentioned, at North Texas RPG Con a couple months ago. He was there signing autographs and I didn't have anything from an autograph, so I bought a copy of this. And while we were waiting on the vendor to come back and let me, the vendor had gone to like playing a tournament module, so I got to visit with him for quite a while. He's a re really, really nice guy. I enjoyed talking to him about this game and other stuff. We, we kind of chatted about several things. Um, so, but then he signed my. He he is the original administrator, and he well he can't see it because can't of the, see it. ah. <laughs> He signed my copy of the administrator's manual, which is the, mm -hmm. the game master's guide that came in the box set. So how uh, Top Secret New World Order works, uh, you know, the original Top Secret was a mostly, I guess, basically a deep percentile system. Uh, this is a dice pool system. So and we're, we're going to go over maybe kind of three rules that kind of dominate the game, and then we'll fill in the blanks as we go. Right. So your character has... Um, uh, it's your basic uh, attributes, nerve, suave, pulse, which is kind of a combination of constitution and strength, intellect, and reflex. So so those are your basic attributes. They're rated on, on a die rating from a, a D4 to a D12. And that's the first die that goes into a die pool. And then you've got uh, what's called tradecraft, and those are four broad domains of... Uh, the th things spies do. Uh, there's uh, human intelligence. There's signal intelligence, which is, is sort of uh, uh, using technology. Um, then there's or tech, like actually computer hacking and gadgets and things like that. Uh, and then there's combat. Uh, those are also rated on a D4 to D12 basis. Uh, but then you have specialized skills that stem off those. So, you know, all, all the spy skills, you have access to every skill in the game. It defaults to whatever your tradecraft is. But if you put points into it, it, it bumps the die up. So say you've got a, a combat of D8, but you take a specialization with some sort of weapon or, or fighting style. It may take that D8 and bump it up to a D10. Later on, as you advance, you might get to put it up to a D12. If you go up farther than that, then it becomes a D12 plus a D4. So you can actually get two dice. There's there's three slots in the dice pool, but some of them might actually get two die once you get high enough. The third die is a, is a decision die, and it's basically what is based on the, the difficulty is. So those first two die, you want them to be as big as possible. It's interesting. The third die, you want it to be big because you're trying to beat the target number, but the die size goes down as as the uh the difficulty increases so so an average sort of thing that you might do would be a d8 um the, the slightly more challenging thing you, you that you'd reduce that to a d6 because that reduces the chances you're going to hit the target number so the, the core mechanic of top secret new world order is called it's, it's called the lucky 13 some people call it the lucky 13 kind of game engine or, or mechanic or that's the core core system here is lucky 13. All things being equal, you're trying to beat a 13 with your die pool. Um, I, I should back up. Sometimes that decision die, if you're using a specialized equipment like a like a firearm or something, that the piece of equipment will tell you what that that difficulty or decision die is. Um, otherwise, it's it's based on the situation and, and the task at hand. But um, uh, and that, and that'll go, that may go up, 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 up or down based on the quality of your equipment or, or something like that. And we'll, we'll get into that. So you're trying to beat a 13. If you look on the screen there, we've got a kind of a post-it note that says 13.0. That's the tension track. When we start a mission, 
it's a default 13 unless you're in combat or in, in, being imposed by like an NPC and then it's whoever's die pool turns out the highest. Uh, otherwise, it's a 13. But what happens is, is when you roll your die pool, if your attribute die comes up at the at the max value, it bursts and you keep rolling it. It's like an exploding die. But if you roll a one, that's a bust. And there's some sort of complication appropriate to the situation that happens as a result of your failure. Um, I guess it's technically you can still beat a 13 and succeed, but you're just going to add a complication. But what's going to happen is you're going to get a tick mark. Um, and every three tick marks, it takes the 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 tension track up one. So we're going to go 13.0, 13.1, and then it's going to go to 14. And that's not how it works in the game. I just don't have the Game Master's screen for Outbell Rodeo where you can show. There's like a little slider you can use on the on the on the administrator screen. The players can see where the tension track is. So once it hits, you know, we we get 13 things. It'll go up to 14, and, one, and then we get three more busts. It goes up to four, up to fifteen, and so the the mission becomes more tense and more chaotic and more difficult to accomplish. The more screw ups and setbacks you get because of of those busted die. However, when you get a when you get a burst, if if you if we've ratcheted up the tension, when there's a burst, one of those really big six exploding die successes, it moves it back down. So you so you can get it back down to thirteen with with exceptional successes. Cool. Uh, I think the last thing to just keep in mind. Uh, and we'll get into other stuff is uh the the rounds work on action points uh and a round starts on account 12 and counts down to zero uh you can go ba based on your reflex um that tells you how many action points you have so if your reflex is like a d8 you have eight action points you actually can't go until count eight uh, but then you can spend as many of your action points as you want if you have them on an action. So for example, firing a gun is like two action points, but if you want to slow down and, and aim, that's four action points. Uh, depending on your speed, you start to run, you're spending action points to make significant movements. Uh, and so you can you can do that. So it's like, what, who's going on count 12, 11, 10, on eight, what's everybody that's going on eight doing? And so, you know, it, it you spend four action points at, at an eight, but at four, you can you can spend some more action points if that makes sense until we get down to zero or until you're out of action points. And I think that'll make more sense as we we get into the game. So it's a real, it's not a simple, simple, simple game, but it's just I think two, you know three or four kind of mechanics you just kind of kind of keep in mind, and then uh, that's it. The, the 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 one other one, and I need to uh, do this right now and write it down is every agent has fate points. At the beginning of the mission, the administrator rolls a six-sided die uh, for each agent, and you've got somewhere between one and six fake points. As written, we're going to try it as written, and if we don't like it, maybe we'll house rule it. You don't know how many fake points you have. You know you have at least one, um, but you don't know if you have more or not till you request to use a fake point, and the administrator says you're out of fate. So you can always you can use once per session. You can use a fate your fate to just negate death if you if you're, you are going to die you know you can spend that fate point and, and it you you don't die um other things you can do you can use it to to mitigate you know mitigate damage that an opponent has done to you or that some damaging effect has done to you or you can use it to re-roll one of the dice in your die pool um so you could use fate to uh to negate a bust if you don't want to affect the tension track uh, the thing is, once you're out of fate, you're out of fate. So, you know, you can always keep one. If, you, if you, you're worried you only have one, keep it in your hip pocket to avoid death if that comes up. But it's sort of a kind of a push your luck gamble. So I'm going to go ahead and roll for our two agents. Uh -huh. uh, right here. Okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to introduce your, your agents to everybody? Yep, sure. Okay. Who's going to go first? It's up to you. All right, I'm going to play Credence Williams. I really don't know what his background is because, oh, background is police. And um, uh, if you let yeah. me share, let me share the screen for a second. I'll share the cover sheet while you're describing him. The cover sheet. So what do you people mean? Just his, well, his dossier. 
Well, they can see you, you can see the picture there, the token. Yeah, that, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I can see the token. I just describe okay. them. Um, All right. But they do have like a in the character sheet. There's like a dossier with. I mean, I can. I guess I could share that actually. Well, let me. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So there you go. So this is a uh, Credence Williams. He's a, a ex policeman. He's now with the agency with Icon. Uh, real name is Credence Williams. Uh, he's actually pretty, pretty good. I mean, if you look at his attributes, his best attribute is he's suave, which it makes sense. So when I go over to, um, I saw his skill or his skills, right? A lot of these uh, human type stuffs are are in the D twelve range, like the interrogation and the like. So he's really good at at kind of being cool. He's decent at combat. Um, yeah, and I'm carrying uh, a 45 M 1911. Uh, a backup pistol is my is my ASP, uh, based on a Model 39 Smith and Wesson, and I have an ASP baton as well, and that is Apollo from Icon. All right, and, and Amy, we've got we've actually got. Uh, maybe a familiar character from somewhere else in the Geomologist multiverse. Yes. <laughs> She's moved around a lot. It is Kasia none of your business key, except not married to anybody. She is Twilight in this game. And uh, she has a Glock pistol and she's mostly reflex and combat. And she used to be an actor. But, uh, you know, she speaks Russian, Polish, English, German, and she's basically a sniper. But she doesn't ever speak about what she does. Yeah, so oddly, Apollo can speak Mandarin. I don't understand how. I but... do not know why he needs to know that. Helps helps to order in the best restaurants, right? I guess, I guess so. Something like that. All right. But you can right. see Kasia over here. Yeah. So, so in some other parallel dimension, Kasia is a freedom fighter in in post World War Three <laughs> Poland, right? Yeah, she's but, also a redhead in that game. <laughs> yeah, but in, but in this one, she's a she's a well, maybe she maybe you dyed your hair blonde. I don't know. This one, she's a Soviet defector who's or a Russian defector who's now a spy. That's the best guy. I, I guess she's too young to have been a Soviet defector at this at this point in history. Not necessarily. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They're going back to it. Mm. All right. Okay, so uh, you guys are agents of Icon. Icon is the what is Icon? International mm -hmm. Clandestine Operations Network. Yeah, so it's a fictional super spy agency, international. So you can be from from all over the world. Uh, but this is basically James Bond Mission Impossible style espionage mm -hmm. is, is, the, is the genre we're in here. Um, you guys are kind of entry level agents, you know, just just starting to get your first serious missions. Um, this first scenario is. Uh, you know, the administrator calls you to, to the office for into his office for a debriefing. And explains that you're in you're in London, which is the 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 headquarters of Icon. Is um, give me just a second here, and I can tell you where it's at. Ooh, look at that! Oh, administrator, thank you. Yep. Um, Are you looking up? Is it in the uh, MI MI six building? <laughs> no, it is not. Yeah. It is actually. I have a. I actually it's might the, have. I guess a, like the pyramid or something. I might have an actual. Uh, yeah, multiple participants can share, so you know, you should be able to secret. pull it up if you have a picture. We see you moving around the screen. Yep. This that's I'm the trying to find BJ. Some... That's BJ Boy thinking. 
do need the Jeopardy theme. I, I know I it's icon icon HQ is there. We go right there. Nice, that's cool. It looks kind of whoops. Okay. It's like an old timey. Um... Yeah, yeah. This is Aspley House, which is an actual building in London. Uh, but the the conceit here is that Icon headquarters is in a secret base underneath As the, the this, this museum in London, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see. The administrator that you report to is uh, Dame Edith Weatherby. Okay. So she 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 brings you into the uh, you, you you know in the headquarters and debriefs you briefs you on the mission that um you're about to be sent on the two of you. Uh, good morning, Agent Apollo, Agent Twilight. Yes. I trust I trust you are well rested from your from your last mission. Yes. Sure. Ready, ready to return to the field. Yes. All right. Uh this is this is a simple one, but as we all know, nothing in our line of work is ever actually simple. Um but we have a valuable asset in Sweden that we need to be retrieved and returned to London. Um he can be found at a coffee house five blocks from the British Embassy in uh, Stockholm. So, Matt, he lives there, ma'am, or at a certain time, or uh, the the, the uh, asset's name is is Doctor um, uh, Gabriel Van Dyke. He is a former KGB researcher who's gone underground um, since since the fall of the Soviet Union. He claims he has found a potential cure for Alzheimer's disease, and he's willing to sell it to the highest bidder. Oh, uh, but, uh, he doesn't know what he, he, we've intercepted. Uh, intelligence that indicates he has a buyer who's going to meet him. We have the, the meeting location tom tomorrow morning. Um, but I, we, we think he doesn't know what the buyer looks like. So you might be able to intercept him and either uh... Mortimer with a gold tooth? Yeah. What's that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What? We are looking for Mortimer with a gold tooth. Where'd that come from? I don't know. <laughs> I tried That's putting a... a note up on the screen so that I could keep my notes, but it's not letting me take it away. Weird. How do you delete it? I don't know how I got it I got there. It. The I got it. That's funny. So is is uh, our administrator Judy Dench or Helen Mirren? That's uh, actually, I have a picture of her if I can figure out how to get rid of this. Oh, there we go. Unlock I, that thing. I got rid of it. it. Oh, yeah. Move it out of the way. That's cool. Uh, Does he have a gold tooth? I guess that was the default. Okay. There you go. Cool. All right. Who's that in the background? I have no idea. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. I'm pulling this from a different a different mission briefing, so. <laughs> okay so uh for, for the next mission so um i don't know who that is in the background and i don't know what dr van dyke looks like because they don't have a picture of him in the, in this scenario that i, I found <laughs> okay well let's okay so i guess we i'm assuming he's got a van dyke you know beard potentially yeah uh so uh you'll need to intercept him at, at around 09 30 tomorrow morning in Stockholm. Like I said, it's at a coffee house about five blocks from the from the British Embassy. I guess we're heading out right away then. Mm-hmm. All right. So 
I get are they are we, are they flying us? Are we going in commercial or what's the insertion? Like uh, we'll fly. We're, we we we'll fly you there. Uh, you we we have tickets ready for you to fly this evening. Um, class. You, you'll rendezvous with with Agent Green. He's a field agent who's been doing surveillance. Uh, he's not much of a of a you know mover or shaker. He he just takes pictures and observes things. He's 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 really not suited to to grab the doctor and, and run. Um, but he can serve as a driver for you. Okay. We, we have a van. And who are we expecting will also be trying to intercept him? We we really don't know who is who it, who it is he's there to meet. Uh, okay. All we know is is he's been referred to in communications as the major. Who Van Dyke has been is called the major or is no the, the the buyer is the major. Uh, okay. Wait. So you don't want to catch the buyer. You just want to get Van Dyke before the buyer gets there. Correct. Got it. Ooh. Okay. Are we allowed to use chloroform? In the what? You're allowed shape? to do anything you want as long as the doctor arrives here relatively safe and unharmed and preferably cooperative. Right. So let's not try to knock him out, Twilight. It is the way of my people. Right. We'll try to talk to him first and guard against any, you know, anything that happens. You can talk. I will I talk. carry yeah. him. Well, Talking is not my strong point. I feel you, you'll be back up, right? With a couple guns here and there or a knife. You just got done telling me that he has to be a, somewhat alive, so I'm not allowed to use chloroform. So I can tie him up. I can carry him over my shoulder. It's okay. No, our, against our competitors. Whoever wants him also. That's who you'll be. If necessary, we can go through the mountains. I guess. Well, so... So we're gonna we're supposed to pick him up, and then take him back to the airport, presumably, and get extracted out of Stockholm. Or how are we getting him out? Uh, if you can get him, you know, there's a safe house. We, we can, we, yeah, there's a safe house. Okay. Ag Agent Green, you know, as soon as, soon as you can, you know, we'll give you the location of the safe house when you get there. Okay. Assuming everything goes smoothly. He'll, he'll pick you up as soon as you have the, the doctor in custody and take you there. All right. So that, that's the, basically your your part of the mission is get the doctor safely to the safe house. Okay. Get him in, safely to the safe house and intact. And, and, yep. and, and avoid civilian collateral damage, of course. Of course. Mm. I look at Twilight. That's only happened once or twice. You know, Mexico City. We don't talk about that. <laughs> All right. If you have any other questions or you're free to uh, requisition necessary gear and... Uh, I guess we collect our... Um, what is it? I am not wonderful at it, but if necessary, we could steal helicopter. I can get us home. I think we just get into the safe house, Twilight. We don't have to get him out of Sweden. That's Icon's job. There's always a second part to every mission, but we should go. I think they're expecting us on the plane at a certain time, so I think we should take Sooner flight. That's what I think. All right. Well, I collect my black church encrypted smartphone. Or, or we can just get bumped up to first class. They're probably expecting, you know, economy class for us. First class administrator. I collect also my, my watch, my Citizen Navahawk icon watch. 
has a lot of interesting gadgets to it. I will make sure my taser is on me at all times. On the right side, my knife on the left. My garret is always in my pocket if needed. And, so, you know, even though the airplane the, doesn't like are, it so much, I will hide my weapon. Are, 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 are we flying first public? Are you, we flying? You, you, you know as well as, as I do, Agent Apollo, that first class is reserved for clearance level eight agents, unless you're escorting a VIP. Okay. Well, nice try, though. All right. Uh, we're flying commercial then. Yeah. All right. So we won't get our like. Um, yeah, they'll they'll they'll, they'll, they'll get box our weapons. Up your, they'll back box up your your gear and it'll be waiting for you when you. Can okay. I insure it a little bit better? I can slip some money under the table. I do not go anywhere without my Glock. Yeah, you can take the Glock onto the plane. Then we'll never get off the plane. I mean, that's fine, Twilight. Whatever you want to do. We'll have to fight some sort of Interpol marshal or something as he wrestles your gun away from you or tries to. And, I, and then I guess we hijack. And I guess I we cannot, hijack the plane. No, I don't want to hijack the plane. But I'm an actor, so I can be more. I do not have to sit in near the bathrooms. I don't wish to. Well, Apollo will turn over his gear. It's fine. I'm not going to cause any trouble because why compromise the mission before it starts? I'm not compromising the mission. I mean, you could try to get your carbide knife. Through. I mean, you know, it's not going to set off a medical. <laughs> it's just in my checked bag. I can keep my guns and there's no reason why I cannot have them there if I pay a little extra. I can pay out of pocket. Very well. That's up to you. I do not know how much extra it would be, but I have plenty. Okay. We'll hand wave that for now. <laughs> All right. So, okay, we so switch. You, you're you're to meet Agent Green at 0800. Um, the next day? The next day uh, at, at your hotel and then... Okay. So we fly in nine thirty. Be ready to eat the dock or the coffee house. So we fly in tonight. Um, mm -hmm. right. I guess they're putting us in a cheap hotel too, because a clearance level eight or whatever mm -hmm. BS that this organization comes up with. Yep. I guess there's elitism at, at every in every organization. All right. So we'll fly. A trouble. hotel that has no bugs is a grade up from what I'm used to. So you, you are in a nice hotel in, okay. in Stockholm, that's the least. I'm definitely going to, when we get to the hotel in Stockholm, I definitely will um, make sure it's not bugged. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? I have, I have the bug camera finder, plus one die twice per day on my watch. Okay. That's your super, super awesome spy watch. Yeah. Uh, that is. Uh, so you would have to run. Uh, I believe that's some uh, sig sig signal intelligence. It's a skill check, but you get to upgrade the die. Yeah. Um, so SIGINT. So that's going to be your. Uh, Intellect is the first die in your die pool, which is a, what is that? Uh, intellect is a D6. Okay. And a then Sigint is a D6, so 2D6. And then also... Do you have any specialized skills in that area? Where would I find that? Uh, so like Physical electronic... surveillance. Okay. So uh, there's physical surveillance. There is electronic surveillance. No, it's a D4. So I don't get any any bonus, right? Bugging is a D four, so I get I just get okay. the which one do I get the D four or the D six? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. That would be tech, not not sigint, but it would be your intelligence plus your tech. Tech. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, and then I so I'll bump up that D four. But, but, 
you bump that up to a D6. And then okay. you'll roll a, a D8 for the, the, uh, what? So task. So you should, should roll 2D6 and a D8. You're trying to, yeah, so a, D, a D6. Oh, yeah. A 2D6 and a D8. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And let's, let's roll your, roll your, um, I would say roll your, uh, attribute die singly first so we can we know if that one's the one that bo busts or booms in case you roll a one or a six. Oh right okay oh, okay so let me do this oh I've got an x out of this all right so roll that attribute dice first mm -hmm. five That's good five stuff. all right so then you can roll your other six and your uh other hit Nine. So uh yeah. you don't detect any bugs. Okay. That was awful. All right. I don't think there are any bugs here, but that's fine. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I think what we're supposed to do on that is change the the, the decision die. So that should have been D six, D four, and uh Oh, it's still the same roles and D six. A D six, a D four and, and a and a D eight. Uh the the D8 would have gone up to a D10. Oh, are you, you know, sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm. Right, I'm remembering so gotta, now. You're supposed to. You're supposed to upgrade and downgrade the difficulty when people have things that help. Gotcha. All right. So I had a five and a two, so seven. So I need a six or better on the D10. Hmm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, at least we. Oh, that's a one. Least, Ooh, is that but okay? it's only it only busts on the uh, on the attribute, attribute die. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you don't think your room is bugged, as far right. as you can tell. You're not. You're not 100 sure if if you're, that was an accurate read, but right. I guess we're in a single, like a like a suite with two yeah. different uh, two rooms. Okay. Yeah, and there's you know there's a restaurant and bar downstairs, and okay, you know, kind of luxury hotel amenities if you want to do anything. Not really. What would I have to roll in order to look out the window and see if there was anyone following us or anyone? Out of the normal. Uh, let's see. Asset handling. Nope. It's uh, physical surveillance, but tailing evasion. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is that physical surveillance? So, you said. Yeah, suave or nerve. Yeah. Um, which skill does that fall under? Suave. Um, suave. So it'd be decent. It's, it's and then it's human intelligence. So, uh, and, and look under your physical yeah. surveillance. Is that one you've got? In, uh... Yeah, I have a D6 in that and a D6 in intelligence. And then you said suave, which is also a D6, or is that? Suave or nerve, it says, for yeah. physical surveillance. Which, have... which everyone's higher you can use. They're both a D6. So okay. two so, D6s uh... and... And a, D8. Yeah, and a D8. So roll a D6 to, for your uh, attribute, just so we can check for a... Six. Oh. Oh, a bus. Roll it again. So eleven. All right. So you got eleven, and and or that was a that was it wasn't a bus. That was a a burst. Yeah. A burst. So yeah. uh, so you got eleven. So now you can roll your other two die. And add a D six and a D eight. Yeah. Yep. D six. I mean, you're good. You're yeah. As long as you don't run. Oh, it's another <laughs> six. Yeah. So you make it. Yeah. You you are you're a hundred percent confident. No one is really watching surveilling <laughs> or, but i haven't done my d8 yet oh you don't have, you don't bust or you don't yeah uh, you, you don't you, you don't burst on it only on burst a, the first one yeah, yeah. okay so still a four. Still, 17 it's still 22. 21 22 21 yeah 22 good 22. job all right yeah nobody's nobody's tailing right all right so i will let him know do not worry i've already looked there is nobody around if you are concerned that our room is bugged we can switch rooms Oh, that's a good idea. I would prefer to switch rooms because I don't like the way the light is coming in. It is harder for me to sleep. All right, we're going to try to switch rooms. That's a good idea. Okay. So I do not know. Maybe like the room. So maybe the room across the hall, just in case we there's noise in the original room. Okay. Do you do you want to formally request to switch rooms, or you just want to? Oh, we're go gonna, to the other. No, room we're going to formally request to switch rooms. Okay. So, so what do I have to do for that? I have room concealment. Um, it's gonna be like a sabotage. suave thing, right? 
I'm, you're gonna, I'm have, good you're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to convince the the desk to let you change that there's something wrong with the room that can't be fixed and they just need to give you a different I room. saw what it was earlier. Okay, so I'm I'm looking to see what that would be. Persuasion rapport. I have a D12. I mean, there's, there's there's deception, which includes acting. Oh, I have acting. Backstopping, disguise. Well, I have persuasion. I have persuasion rapport at a D12. Okay. I don't even based know on, what the equation is. It's based on suave. So I have a D10 and a D12. And then a D8. Okay. So I so you're, you're, not, not gonna, you're not going really, to, you're just, it's not a lie. You're just going to take some feature of the room and convince them that this is unacceptable to my. Yeah, I said my, my I'm going to say my, uh, oh, well, we'll play up the uh, acting angle. I said, okay. I said I'm going to, I'm going to go, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. I'm, I'm going to splash if, makeup say, all I, over I, I, my face. I, I, so I will say if 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 uh, Kasha can pull off some successful acting feat of acting about being just an incensed, you know, kind of demanding diva and effect uh, diva, yeah. yeah. And you're like, hey man, hey man, just give us a different room. I'll I'll give you. I'll let you. I'll I'll, I'll let you uh, change okay. the difficulty die. All right. So roll your um, acting and see if you succeed. And I'm looking for my acting. Hacking explosions. I don't know where it's acting. under. It's under um, deception. I have a D8. deception. Okay, D8. So just so, roll one D8. Well, first roll your uh, suave die to see what your attribute does. Okay, I have to figure out what that is. My suave is a D6. Yeah, mm -hmm. so let's see what happens there. A five, five. Okay, so then you can roll your. Uh, your D8 for acting and the D8 for the decision dice. Oh, oh, does that one blow up or no? No, no. That's an eight and That's a seven. Or no, a four. Nice. Twelve. So. So yeah, you. What do you do? What what is what does Kasha do? What kind of she she would production have put, does she make in the in the lobby to? I would put a whole bunch of eye drops in my eyes to make them red and puffy. She'd pinch her cheeks and she would put powder on to make herself <laughs> look as though she's sick. And I would see there's so much mold in that room. I cannot see in there. You understand, You've got my... to change me. I, we don't even need a sous vide. If you just move us down one floor, I think it would be okay. Plus that air conditioner. I think that is not working. A very, very, uh, maybe a first thick Swedish accent, day. but you know, kind of. You remember the uh, the, the 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 guy that like the little hot spring store and it's frozen. It's yeah, it's like sweet. I I can't redo his voice, but that would be what it's like. It's like, you know, sure. like the Swedish <laughs> very chef. apologetic, trying to. Oh yeah, the Swedish chef. That'd be even right. more. We're gonna we're gonna get hate mail from Sweden if we do that. I know. <laughs> All right. So then, my if it, if it is first to room, Mr. Much... Hart and for the pretty woman. That is okay. I I. To to make up for it, would you mind sending, you know, a bottle of champagne and maybe cheese and strawberries to the room? That it, it you could bill it to our to our employer. If he's already convinced, I guess I don't need to do the convincing. <laughs> well, he's convinced. He's upset. Now you got to convince him to oh, like because right. he's like you know, what, what can we what can we can. Uh, I tell if you uh, like we, if you uh, would like uh we, we could copy you uh a meal in the restaurant and have your room cleaned again. While, while you're while you're eating, no. What it might be easier if there's a room uh, across the hall or you know same floor, just not okay. that room. All right, make your make your persuasion with the. Uh... I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. Oh. So it's a, to me, it's a D10 first mm -hmm. for the suave. Oh, uh -huh. darling, you need to get us out of that room, or I have to give them a bad Yelp review. So six, <laughs> and then a D as in a D12 it, for the it, suave. It, D12, okay, and then you and then to another D10, yeah, yeah. I think you're so gonna six, get six, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. So no problem. Yes, this yeah, we move room here, here, here. Uh, he he like pulls something out. It's like you know, enjoy enjoy a, a complimentary drink in the bar while we we will have all your things moved uh, yes. to Thank the room, you. and someone will come kind of come escort you to your new room. I'm so sorry about that, ma'am. So sorry. Yeah. I appreciate it. Would you mind? Adding a bottle of champagne and some cheese and have that in the room. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll we'll have we'll have that in the room. You yes. can just bill it to my account. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the administrator's gonna be like, "What? Pain? <laughs> All right." Uh, 
Well, it's always a okay. good precaution to switch rooms, but I think. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so you, games. you could, you know, you hang out in the bar, get a drink while they, yeah, yeah. while you wait. Okay. Sure. Just anyone like looking at us funny other than. Uh, you know, it's probably what you'd expect for a fancy hotel in Stockholm. It looks like business people, some, okay. some more well-to-do people who may be on vacation. Yeah. Um, so no one looks like know, out of place. We probably look out of place. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, nobody looks too out of place. Oh, dude, I got like an acting. We could, man, I got a D12 in acting too, Amy. It's crazy. Actually, Impersonation and accents, that's scary. Okay, I'm not going <laughs> to do any, Um, but... Tasha would have gotten vodka gimlets for both of us. Yeah. And she'd take one sip and say, oh, pathetic. There is not enough vodka. So she would have to open up her pocket and take some out. You want more? No, thank you. Man, I got disguise, impersonation, and accents. What's backstopping? Yeah. What's backstopping? Uh, I, I have to look in the... You want to pause the recording and we get up and we can explain. No, it I can. Audience. I'll look it up. I'll look it up if we need to use it. I'll, I'll you know, it's a. It, it'll, it'll be listed in the. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Specialized skills and the. In yeah, the I can angle. look it up while we keep going. I mean. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else you guys want to do this evening? I don't know. Um, well, Kasia would make sure that she would tell Apollo, "I can take first watch or second watch. It is up to you." But she would have her her rifle out with the scope and she'd just be watching out the window. You could take the first watch. I'll sleep. Yeah. So backstopping is the ability to be highly creative and convincing with the backstory of fictional personas. So these guys like, so Apollo is like Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. She also has backstopping disguise oh. impersonation. Yeah. Pigeons. yeah, I mean... <laughs> I guess he could be, you know, any any from the Caribbean. He could be from any African country, yeah. right? So, yeah. Interestingly, he can speak Chinese, so I don't know where yeah. he could be. I mean, just being from English, you could just pull off of. Yeah, it could know. be from England, you know. So it's great. That's oh, okay. he also That's speaks. Me. He speaks French really well. So any like French, you know. Yeah. Former French colony, I guess. Ha so. Haiti or. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Do we All know right. about what time it is? It's it's uh, probably around 7 o'clock in the evening at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, we might as well order dinner. Oh, we're, I thought we got it. Well, we'll have a drink. We get dinner. They, they, brought, they took a charcuterie board and champagne up to you. Yeah. <laughs> that um, is for wait? later. Okay. I have to have something to do while on watch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's pretty nice. In the box cool. of chocolates. Yep. Uh, as you as you listen in, I mean, I mean, there's there's nothing really suspicious going on, but you can tell like there are people who are Swedish, but not just the 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 people working in the hotel, but there there are people from England and France, and you mm -hmm. can pick up the different accents and the different languages being spoken. Is there something I can roll for eavesdropping? You can. Uh, I think that's a human intelligence uh, based. I have counterfeiting. Deception, and acting, this, disguise, and person. I can run toxicology report. X case. That's the uh, infiltration. Stealth, mm -hmm. body concealment, personal concealment, room concealment. No, better. Let's see. Okay. Better. Oh. All right. Sorry. She wants to do things. That's fine. Well, I'm looking at is... I'm looking Asian at Stockholm at night pictures. It's pretty cool. You want to throw one up on the on the screen? I don't know how to do or that. I guess I guess only I can do that. Huh? I think only you can do that. <laughs> but I, you know, yeah. I, I know I can put it. Um... Yeah. I mean, I have profile. You can you can you, 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 you can you can lip greeting. Yeah. I uh, there, there, yeah. Reading. Which uh, which skill is that under? Lip reading is soft skills, suave. So I have a D6. Lip reading, evaluation, memory place, negotiation. Surely there's a eavesdropping I don't skill. Know. 
I was thinking maybe under surveillance, but I did not see it. Yeah, that's what that's what I would think it would be under survival, street delivery, soft skills, air shopping, psyops, piloting, physical surveillance. Yeah, that sounds about right. Physical surveillance. Let's see. Um. Oh, there we go. There's foot vehicle tailing, tailing staking out, out, foot tailing, evasion, dry, dry cleaning. cleaning. I don't know what dry cleaning is. Oh, I think that's <laughs> that's like I think a, that's a, that's cleaning a scene. That's probably cleaning okay. up a scene. Okay, paramilitary I'm sailing and skippering and tactical swimming. Yeah. I have a D six and brainwashing. Tactics, forgery, forensics, first aid, explosives. Electronic surveillance, electronic communications, driving, deception, cryptography, climbing, mm -hmm. black bag ops, asset handling, analysis. That's a that's a signal Cold intelligence reading. though. Yeah. I would probably just say that it's under that on those um soft yeah. skills, it's gonna be I would just default it to like evaluation. Okay, that's a decent although, although that's really more about yeah. Let me see. I saw I thought I saw another one that would I mean I have lip reading. I, or I would or I would say it's a um just the human intelligence, yeah. Uh, the physical surveillance. Probably, yeah. Sounds about right. If so nothing else, like it'd be like stake out. Okay. So I have D six and intellect. Okay, so let's roll that. And then Okay, so D6. Please switch D6. back to the, uh, got a three. three. And then... Carl, you may want to switch us back to the... The what? To the, you may want to switch back to the Albert so people can see what's going on. Oh, there you go. Okay, and so then... So she got a three. Mm -hmm. And then lip reading, or...? Uh, I, I would do... Are you trying to read lips, or are you trying to... Uh, Listen in on the what I'm people are actually to saying. Drop is <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Yeah, if you just can overhear somebody, I would use the stakeout. Stakeout. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to figure out where that was again. I tried to put the picture on Discord, but I guess when I hit on Discord, people can see. Stakeout is a D six, so then a a D six, and then and then what other skill do you want me to do that's a 4 so we're now up to 7 um i would you know what if the lip reading was better i would do that one if what was your lip reading better no that's the same okay and then it's a it's a d8 d8 mm -hmm. 7 8 uh total of 11 uh, so i didn't make it you don't you don't you don't pick up on anything I'm going to blame it on the fact that I had to add extra alcohol. <laughs> Potentially. All right. Yeah. Apollos is going to take it easy. There you go. I think I got mm. that on the their yes. Stockholm at night. Yeah. <laughs> but so pour you a glass iconic. of champagne if you want some. I'll sip it, but not drink it a lot. Right. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, so anything happen tonight? Uh, the night passes uneventfully. Okay. So we get up early, try to meet this you guy. Get get there early. Early. You, you, you've been, you haven't met Agent Green. Yeah. You have a picture of him, of course, yeah. so that you can you can identify him when you meet him in the lobby. Mm -hmm. he, he looks like a nerdy hipster with short brown hair. He's pretty easily recognized by a birthmark on his first head. On his on his forehead, mm -hmm. um, so he's not a. When, when she said he's not much of a soldier, he's he's good at surveillance and, and technical stuff and can be your driver, but he's not not somebody we want to send in and try to grab somebody. You, you can see why he's oh. stiff breeze might knock him over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. But, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see what some of these skills do. You... Oh, evaluation, soft skills. Okay. Yeah, that was one I was going to default to. Yeah, but I thought good. that might okay. be actually more of a personality kind of. Yeah, I guess that would be profiling though. 
Yeah, I think behavioral psychological profiling is probably like a long. It's, yeah, term. I, I got to remember. You got to remember what I do in real life. Really clouds my. Yeah. No, I know, but I feel like I feel like terms. that would be long. That would be like long term. You know, that's not. Like, yeah. Okay. Like the evaluation is reading someone's body language, like bullshit detector. I would think. Yeah, so that's probably what we should have used. I think it was the same regardless for for Kasha. Yeah, for, I mean, oh, well, yeah. Okay. okay. So you want you want to do, talk to Green when we meet him, and I can evaluate. I can evaluate and see if he's gonna betray us. Yeah, you can always. You can. Yeah. Uh, well, you talk. Do we know you do where we're talking. going? Yes, we're Wait. supposed to go to the cafe. We're supposed to meet him in the lobby at zero eight thirty. I think we should get there at zero eight at least. And I'm assuming we're already there. Yes, and um. She will have her hair tacked back, everything in black. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably chilly in Stockholm all the time, for the most part. Most we're in the middle of summer. She's going to make sure that her, still be... her gun is fully loaded with the extra magazine, that she has her taser. She has... Um, yeah, we're ready to rock she... and roll. Yeah, sure, we're ready no, to go. She's ready. So he's got, he's got a nice uh, Volvo, n not surprisingly, Volvo. car waiting. Volvo. Oh, okay, so it's. Do I need a car for for an need, he'll drive? You basically just supposed to grab the guy, convince him to get into the car, and he'll take you to the safe house. He's just gonna be parked at the curb. Okay. Tasha wants to ask him, "What is your driving skill around here? Because you're in a Volvo, you couldn't have picked something a little bit more mundane." You picked the exact mundane. For Sweden. In Sweden, it's like every, every everyone has a Volvo. <laughs> I know that's my point. It, kind of on brand for a hipster too, isn't it? To be driving, yeah, a Volvo? it kind of is. On, I he seems like on the up and up. I don't need to make an evaluation. Uh, he did. You don't see anything obvious to make you think he would. He, he no. is who he, he appears to be. Who you were supposed to meet? And yeah, yeah. All right. Company he is as described. And right, well, if we meet, if boss. he does he get there late or gets there on time? He's he's right on time. All right. So uh, let's go. For you let's go ahead. So let's he, go there so we get there early and can. He he, he pulls the car around. Um, you wait in the okay. back. All right. So okay. so you're about five blocks from the British embassy. Actually, if you get him to the British British embassy, you're fine. Oh right, that's true. Um, okay. I wasn't even thinking about that. They they probably have a way to to do that. So. All right. Well. So about not nine fifteen. Well, it's so people start the coffee house is this large. Uh, it has a, a large plate glass window out front, with three tables on the sidewalk. Um, you know, it's 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 not early early in the morning, so there are already people there. There are two couples at the at the tables. Uh, there's a businessman reading a paper at, at the other table off to the left. Uh, the door of the coffee house inside. That, that's what you see from the outside. Now there's there are more tables inside, obviously. Okay. Is this doctor inside or outside? We don't. He hasn't there yet, right? Well, he you don't know if he's in there or or if he hasn't arrived yet. Yeah. Can so, I use so, my situal awareness to see if I recognize him yet? He doesn't. You, you don't see him of any of the people sitting outside. Hmm. All right, so dry cleaning is a skill of assessing whether the agent is being tailed or surveilled, by the way. Okay. Physical surveillance right. is the old-fashioned form of watching, staking out or tailing, physically watching from a dis distance. So, so dry so cleaning think, should have been what we used last night when you were looking out the window. Right, okay. yeah. But physical surveillance, we should could do that ahead of time if we get there early. And okay. So, yeah, right. Um, so I think we should do that. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm pretty good at it, but you probably are good at it you, too. You, you would have to, if you want to know who's in there, you would have to either go in or at least yes. try to make a nonchalant pass by the window and kind of oh, right. look through the window and see what's going on inside the. All right, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna. Do, or you, or you could go in and order a cup of coffee to go and, you know. Are we gonna go in together? Okay, time out. Are we gonna go in together, or are are you gonna be Overwatch? I will be Overwatch. Right, okay. I'm assuming since I have a D12 being a sniper. I have a D12 and heavy weapons, D12 and handgun Jesus. proficiency. So do you want me to get, do you want to find a sniping position across from the cafe and then let me, have me go in there and yes. get him and then you cover but us? 
I also have, what is your ability to restrain him? Um, what is that? If I mean, he's, he's a he's, he's a little old man. I don't think it's going to be an issue. You never know. Well, I mean, we'll figure it out. Um, Because I have a D10 in restraint under my guerrilla tactics. After what is it under? Guerrilla tactics. I have a D10 in all of those. I mean, if we want to get really, really technical, we could pull up a map of downtown Sweden, find the British embassy, or Stockholm, find the British embassy. I assume, no, I'm fine. assuming there's one there. No, I, well, I mean, I'm just, I just, so, <laughs> so then it, what's going to happen when we, so Kasha's is going to try to find a sniping position and probably yeah. we're going to get in the car and she's going to just make her way. Casually. Are you wanting a, an elevated yeah. sniping position? Probably, but one that I can get okay. down from and they can pick me up around the corner after he gets them in. Okay. Well, this is sort of broad daylight in a, in a major city. Um, these these are like businesses on the ground floor and either upper floors are going to be either other businesses or hotels or or uh, I mean what if you set up a position in the back in the car yeah you could do that across from the back the seat of the car yeah across the street and cover us if something goes south okay i'll have my sniper with the uh my sniper rifle with the scope and the silencer on don't shoot me i'm going to go into sort of like a like a, a disguise, like um, like full on like British businessman. Okay. Uh, um, with a, I even have carry a briefcase, and then get there, go in there early, and then scope it out. Right, and then Amy, maybe Amy, you can scope out the street. I'm on can, it, and I can so, scope out. Great, great. So you 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 know getting your sniper rifle out and positioned you know in the back seat mm-hmm. as he crosses the street, and Green is like. Oh, is that a is that an inmate too? Why don't you come and say hello? I'd love to meet you. Come on in. What? <laughs> Green, yeah. the, our eight our driver is talking to you. No, he's he's in the front seat. Yeah. He kinda kinda looks back over his shoulder and is like, Oh, is that is that an inmate too? You just keep an eye on the road. All right. All right. Okay, so we don't talk when we are on missions. You should know better. Yeah, I didn't talk on missions before it was cool. It says he's a hipster. I did. Um, You're right. still talking. Good coffee in this place. It's 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 a uh, fair trade and right. ethical, ethically sourced. I would oh. hate to have to hit you with the gun. You just be quiet. We're supposed to be staking us out. Make a, make a, make a, what would be the kind of equivalent of an insight check here? I don't know. That was the, that was the dry, the. I'm trying to intimidate him to be quiet. No, right. on the, on green? Yeah. That'd be evalu- like evaluation. Yeah, let's do, let's do an evaluation on green for, for a uh, Kasha. Okay, where where is that? So it, it's going to be your uh, suave. My suave, okay, which is D6. Mm-hmm. Please blow up. What's the name of that sh- that A series? Two. What was the name of that series that we were watching, Amy, with the Russian spy lady? Killing uh, Eve. Killing Eve. Eve. Yeah, Amy's yeah. channeling her. Okay, so and then, it's suave. And then it'll be your uh, evaluation, which is a D6. Another D six and then and then a D eight. Six. That one is a six. So you're at eight. Yeah, and roll a D eight. Nice. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you get the sense in some awkward way he's he's kind of like uh, it's not really flirting, but it's maybe just a couple. (laughs) He's like really awkward and nerdy, and he's like in in a car with a pretty woman, and he's trying to. Make small talk, and you just keep giving him the cold shoulder and tell him to shut up. Yeah, but <laughs> right. well, so should I stake out the coffee shop when I get in? Okay, so what? you you walk. I nothing really happens as you walk up. It's as I described. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna go in the coffee shop, or you're gonna kind of peer through the windows and see what you can see. 
Would um, he have an earpiece in his ear so I can talk yeah, to I him? Yeah, I think you've probably got Yeah, we do. You've got, you've got, you've got earpieces. Yeah. I would radio him and say, this guy, he's hitting on me. You might need to bring him a coffee because I'm being rather cold to him. Stay on, I'm sitting stay on right mission. here. I can hear what you're saying. I'll <laughs> shut up now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um yeah so i'm gonna check it out first and then go in yeah okay i don't know all right uh so let's see so you're, you're gonna look through the windows first and then go in yep uh inside that you can see there are about six there's six other tables inside uh there are a couple women at one table chatting there's a man uh a man wearing a cycling outfit the other the other tables are empty okay well go in and order oh i'm sorry they're in line there are three people in line two women chatting uh and and then a man behind them wearing a a a bicycle like a cycling outfit okay well i'll get in line and there's only the most of the tables empty except for the one right as you walk in the door and you see uh, an elderly uh, gentleman. Oh, he's already here. Um, yeah, and he, it's it's him. Okay. Behind well, the counter, there's just one woman. There's right. there's a barista behind right. the counter. I let I let Twilight. There's know a it. large large glass case with different pastries. There's cash register is kind of old fashioned, but there's also a like a iPad you know tablet next to it where they're actually people are paying with their cards and their phones. Okay. I'm gonna let Twilight know I have the I see the asset. I'm gonna order coffee casual and then sit down with him. Uh the two women are talking in Swedish. I don't speak it Swedish. It matters. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll be I think, I think I'll be Twilight f- would radio you and say, Do you need me to create a diversion? No. Then he will get you, up and leave quicker. Are, so are you go are you in line or are you approaching the I'm gonna I'm gonna go in, in line. Okay. I step up in line. The women are have ordered and they're still talking in Swedish while they're waiting on the barista to bring him up and the uh the uh the the, the man kind of looks he kinda looks at you and he says, you know, kind of in a uh I can't the, remember what the specific, cyclist the cyclist? Yeah, whatever specific British accent he just says uh, good morning, but you could it's a kind of the Upper crust British of the cyclist. Yeah, I speak to him in, you know, accented English, but because I'm going to pretend to be French, I decided instead okay. that's probably a better cover than being English. So I'll speak to him back with a French accent, but you know, in English, I go, oh, good, good morning. Do you to get more coffee? Yeah. So the the you look over the the doctor is wearing a, a golf cap. It's got a brown leather briefcase, and he's kind of it's in his lap. He hasn't put it on the floor. He's like got it sitting in his lap, and it's oh wow, okay. You know, keeping one arm on it while he he drinks his coffee. Okay. Um. Well, I'll, if I get to order coffee, I'm going to sit next. I'm not going to sit at the same table, but sit next to him. Okay. Like I sit at the table next to him, but with an you know that I can. You know, drop something, lean over, and tell him. You know, um, you know. Okay. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue. Okay. Make a. Let's see. Are you making kind of a? I'm trying to stake this place out. I've been wanting to stake. Yeah. This place out. Okay. So let's uh, let's let's do the roll for, for okay. looking for for right. uh, anything out of out of out of the ordinary. Okay. Here's my D10 for suave. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh no! But here, I bet I have a I have D. To somebody. A D ten, but for steak, I'd have a D ten and then a D eight, right? So. Okay. Well, let's see if it works, but there's still going to be a complication. Yeah. Yeah. No, does not work. Okay, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I, hopefully, I get to order my coffee, and then I'll sit next to him while I wait for it to be finished. Okay. Yeah. If the, the women get their coffee. The the British guy gets his coffee and goes and and, and sits down. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess if I just get, if I, it's probably easier just get black coffee, just get, not get like a cappuccino or an espresso, just get yeah. coffee. Just They've get... got pastries and stuff too, so. Um... Nah, no food. And then, um, and then... What, I so think you, it, you, you don't sit. You sit. They don't sit at the table with the doctor. You sit just at the, the next table next to him. Yes, next to him. Okay. Um, also, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna. Amy, I think wanted to stake out the street and make sure not getting people like rushing in or something weird like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you want her to do that yet or not? Well, I was uh, thinking about using my situational awareness because it, would it be that or stake out so or a sniper? There are. Uh, Couples, the couples at the table outside, um, eventually kind of finish their coffee and, and their their pastries, and they move on. The guy is, uh, yeah, make a, yeah, go ahead and make a the same kind of thing, just kind of the assessment of the situation. Which so one? That, suave or nerve? What was that? Suave or nerve, which is where's your your highest, okay, and that's, then that's a D six. They're both a D six. Mm -hmm. And two. Um, and stake out, stake out, stake out. Stake out the D six. Please get higher than a two. And then a, Four a D eight. Uh, and then what else? A D eight. D eight. Okay. How about an eight or mm -hmm. a one? Don't see anything either. Okay. No, okay. but what I'm thinking is I have demolitions. I have a D12 in that, so I'm thinking that uh, I could go get out of the car. Are you getting out? Okay. <laughs> because I want to start a fire. No. <laughs> no civilians. No hurting civilians. We got I'm that not order. Hurting civilians. No yeah. causing problems for civilians. Just so. starting a fire in a garbage can. Okay. The 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 couple the, the couples clear out, and the the man eventually. Uh, Stands up. He folds up his paper. He tucks it. He tucks it under his arm. The uh, uh, old man. He he. No, the 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 businessman that was sitting outside. Okay. So you, you I think probably Apollo doesn't see this, but Twilight does. Um, and he, he's just kind of standing by the door. He's not going in. He doesn't look like he's leaving. He's just standing by the door. He's kind of looking around. Mm -hmm. Um. Show radio me... Apollo and say. I... I think there's an asset at the door that's going to be a problem. All right, get ready to. All right, so when he does that, I'm gonna. Paul is gonna, you know, yeah, accidentally yeah. spill his coffee and have to whisper, you know, lean over and whisper to the old man, "Sir, I'm I'm sorry. Um, my name is Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue." I don't know whatever code phrase we decided we're gonna tell him, or that I'm sure the administrator told us some sort of code phrase that. We're supposed to tell him that we. So what? What he know? No, he does. He he doesn't know. He's had no contact with Icon. Uh, so, Icon has intercepted that he's going to try to sell this to someone that he's supposed to meet here today. And your uh, job is to get this guy and nab him and bring him in before he can do that. Okay. Oh wow. Well, I'll put um, my sniper rifle down, and I will. No. Okay. Well, I was going to go approach the guy at the door. All right. Act as if I'm there to get coffee. Okay, so so you're you're going to approach the guy at the door, and, and Carl, what what is Apollo doing? He's going to knock over his coffee, and so be very not like at the man, like to burn him, but knock it over, and be very embarrassed and apologetic, and lean over and say, "I'm uh, I'm here from Icon to escort you." to the embassy we are interested in your in what you have and i don't know what you're talking about i don't know how to i mean i'll just knock him out then i don't know what to do if he's going to say no i thought he's going to become willingly <laughs> no you, so, so make it we're, we're going to i need you to make a uh, a deception uh what would what would be that kind of thing to kind of bluff which which skill are we looking at here? What do you mean trying to bluff? Oh, he's trying to uh, bluff. Well, when you're trying to like you accidentally knock your thing over to make it look like an accident, so you can lean over and whisper to him, "What's your uh, what's the thing you've got to roll to make it look like that's nobody? Oh, that's... So no nobody watching can impersonations, can, like, accents, 
disguise, backstopping, acting. Just they're all de any deception thing is a D12. It'd be deception, I guess. It's a ploy, yeah. right? It's a D yeah. deception. Okay. So do that um, one first. Yeah, and that's that's gonna be what is that? Suave, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm good at okay. it, but I haven't rolled well. Okay, so that's suave. D10, six. And then mm -hmm. deception, which is a, a D12 for me. Is that a human intelligence based? Uh, it says it says D twelve for me. Okay. And is it D ten or D eight for the? And for then the, it's a, a D a, uh, yeah D eight for the difficulty. Okay. And I what did I roll? I don't remember what I rolled for the first one. But I rolled on the D ten. Okay. What it, do you remember? What I rolled on the D ten? Uh, I do not. I was. Taking some notes, sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. It wasn't a one. If you want to re-roll it, you can. Just throw a D10 into the... Since they're all different dice, we, we know what it... Yeah. 23. Okay. That's a crit in Pathfinder 2. Okay. So you successfully pull that off, and he says, I, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so how do we... I said, well, I guess I was told that you would be uh, willing to come with us, but if you don't, I guess... No, we'll I'm, have... I'm, I'm, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm, I'm, here, I'm here to meet a business associate of mine. Just waiting. I mean, you, you obviously know he's, he's lying to you. I mean, there's no reason to have to roll for that. But... Um, Dr. Van Dyke, I know that you're lying. If you're in trouble, uh, we're here to help you. Okay. I recall, he, he was going to, I mean, he's going to sell his research to somebody. So Icon is willing to pay double what these people are offering you for your research. Okay. Now, now we'll make it kind of persuasive. Try, try something persuasive. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's a D10 again. Mm -hmm. Oh, since they're all different, we'll just roll yeah. them. And we know the D10 is. How do you. If you hit it too much, then it gives you too many dice. All right. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, well. I'm going to use a fate okay. point. What? Okay. To re roll the In 10. Okay. Go. go. I oh, forgot to add the complication for the last time. Do they re-roll? <laughs> do they re-roll? Well, it could be. I just clear. I would just. You've got uh, six, so I just cleared out and roll a ten-sided die. Uh, so you just roll one die. So you roll all of them. You just get to re-roll one of them. You pick which one you want to re-roll. The one. Which I think yeah. you're wanting to re-roll the ten, obviously. So. Yeah. Okay. So, just roll a d10, and we know you've got to add six to it. No, I still fail, but at least it's not a complication. Oh well. He starts to look look around uh, very nervously, like he's visibly like he starts looking around, like he's confused, or like he's looking for for somebody. Okay. Um. Okay. Outside, what are, what are you doing, Kasha? Okay, I want to use my acting, and I want to go okay. up to the guy and put my arm around his, as if I was grabbing his arm and saying, "Oh, finally, I found the one I was supposed to meet from Tinder." You meet this exactly. Go ahead and make did your. Did not know we were going for coffee. Make your uh, make your roll. My acting is D eight. I should have borrowed your taser, Amy. Yeah, that could have worked. Seven for oh. acting, and then that is suave nerve. Mm -hmm. So it says suave nerve D eight. So I roll another D eight. Mm hmm. Yep. So, so seven. So it's so seven for the for skill or attribute. Yeah, I guess the first one, and then another seven, and then nice. what else do I roll? For uh, to be another D eight, but you've already made it because that's a fourteen. Yeah. Okay. You don't get anything for rolling X number over or anything. Mm -mm. Uh, no, it's just a. It okay. either works it's or it doesn't. Success. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she just wants to tell him. She's like, oh. I was so worried that you were going to leave. It took me so long to find the coffee shop. Should we go in? 
he 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 looks kind of yeah, I mean, he's. He, I think he's buying it. He, he believes you're actually have mistaken him for someone else, and and he says, in a in a very thick Russian accent, that it very sorry. I, I think you have confused me for someone else. No, I don't think so. We met in Russo, yeah. in Moscow. You were on the computer. You were sitting in that little box. I saw you from across the room. You you winked at me. I knew this was you. I know it was. So it's there. It's what since you're speak, he can tell you're speak like you, you know you're speaking or have the accent. He just switches to Russian and he's like, no, no, you're just very. Um, oh, she'll speak in I'm Russian bit, to him. No, yeah, I I'm, am I'm not. Bit... I am not wrong. I think you might be wrong, because you sent me a note on my phone that said to meet you here at the nine fifteen, that you couldn't wait to see me again, and. We went to that, we went on that walk. We went to the vodka museum. You have okay. to remember. All right. Uh, are you going to, are you just going to tase him, Amy? I'm trying to move him to get him out of there. I'll do what okay. I have to do. I mean, he's, he's not moving. I mean, he'll like take a step back to try to, if you're in his face, but he's not moving from the general vicinity do I, of the door. Do I have to grapple him with a knife? Uh, yeah, we, we'll have to go into an actual or garrote him. combat round Take if you want to do back. that. But if you want to, yes, we, we can do that. Well, I mean, I'm I'm thinking either that or I have restraining. Restraint is a uh -huh. D10 for me. Okay. Back inside, so the, 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 the doctor is getting visibly agitated. Mm -hmm. uh, anything you want to try? Um, you know what? I'll try another tactic. Maybe he goes, I'm going to say, okay, okay, Icon is is a lie. I, and I start speaking in Mandarin since okay. I have a, and I say, I've worked, I actually work for the Chinese and you know we have the money for it to double what, what whoever is okay. asking. Okay. Make a, a check to uh, see if he believes you. Okay. This is deception again? Yep. Okay. Do you want me to use Chinese or impersonation in an accent? Oh, I forgot about the Chinese. Um, what we'll do is, what's your what's your skill? D10, D10 in Chinese. Okay, so, um, yeah, I would use that in place of the um, difficulty die. Okay. Well, I, I don't. I talk to him in like you know, yep. whatever English, but I say I speak in Chinese for a little. Like, yeah, it sounds right. it sounds okay. plausible. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so that, that you want me to use, we'll use it. Okay. So it's so, whatever you're doing before, but instead of that default difficulty die of D8, mm -hmm. you'll use your your language skill. Okay. So here is the D10. The first D10. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, another one, Carl. All right. Here's a D12. I'm not going to make it four, and then another D10. Need a nine or a ten. Get a ten. Come on. Okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right. I'm just gonna tase him or slap him over the okay. head now. Here we go. Um here, here's the complication. You're so engrossed with this guy's uh and trying to convince this guy that you're you're a thing. Uh before it's too late, the, the guy in the bicycle shorts is standing next to you with a gun pointed at you. Okay. And he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, sorry, old boy, but I'll cut in now. Okay. I guess I'm going to die. You have but... no idea where the gun came from because he's in bicycle shorts. In the... All right. All right. I'm going to pull out my gun quickly and shoot him. Pop, pop. Probably the bulge in front of his uh, yeah. pants are, uh, it's not as big as it was when he sat down. Oh, you know what? Actually, wait, wait, maybe there's a wash or something. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move into uh, an actual combat round here. So let me let me flip over to the uh, the rules. Okay. So, um, specialized. Oh yeah. Page. Okay, that's on page sixty, isn't it? Pardon me, folks, while I find the right page in the book. All right, so. All right, I got. Uh, okay, I know what I'm gonna do, but okay. What's what's everybody's action point? Uh, I'm at eight. I'm at you're ten. At eight. 
Okay. I have a 10. All right, so he is uh, this guy, suave, nerve, pulse, intellect, reflex. All right, so this guy's got a gun pulled on you. He, he stood up and step, stepped across the room. He's got a gun pulled on you. Uh, out of the corner of your eye, you see the uh, barista reach under the counter and comes up with a gun. Uh, and then, Amy, you're out here uh, dealing with this guy on the street, and you'll actually get to go first. Okay. Because you you have the best reflexes of everybody. So you're we're, 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 we go from 12 to 11 on the countdown to 10. You get to go. Okay. So what do you want to do? going to aim and fire the handgun at the one that is trying to well she shoot the guy that's in front of him but she doesn't really need to i don't think so so she was going to aim and fire at the one that's holding the gun against um apollo and then so, so you're, you're you're in the doorway with this guy kind of yeah you can't i don't think in you the way see him. um you're you're contending with him so you, i don't oh. think you've seen what's gone on inside that's you're doing this on the outside okay then i guess you, we you're... have to do hand to hand with the knife uh, you could do that, or you could try to pull a gun and just point blank him. So pull the gun and point blank him? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. Snapshot is a fast Snapshot fire method too. for any yeah. weapon. Basically, that costs four. firing without proper aim and always carries a penalty, giving the target an extra D8 for the de defense. The aim and fire gun. No, not aim and fire gun, so just shoot him, right? Snap, the snap uh, fire. Fire yeah, any you can, you can fire any firearm without aiming or without adjusting the aim, but I think you have to have it drawn. So this would be a snapshot. So it costs four action points. So snapshot. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So so you spent four action points, so you won't be able to go again until count four. Which is fine. Uh, I'm trying to change this and it won't. But you can still shoot, right? Okay. Yes, you, you can still shoot. Okay. Okay. So, and so that's gonna be your reflex plus your handgun skill plus whatever the point blank is for your handgun okay so that is a d10 d12 d10 okay and then he's gonna get uh d... see what he's he's got d10. let me flip over to the body armor and remember oh. range combat oh, defender and defender is aware that it's his reflex plus his combat oh i got a 12 on that one so now i'm at 13 and then okay uh, uh yeah so it's your reflex plus your combat and i got a 10 a natural plus your so plus your weapon got a total of 23 but she rolled right. a one she rolled a one on the first die on the first oh, die. she did yeah so after okay. the shot it might jam or something i don't know whatever complication i okay. guess but All she, right. she got a 23 up. though but i have a total of 23 yeah. okay so he's gonna roll his i'll defense. use i'll use a fate point to re-roll that first one then okay Right. Which was my D10. So mm -hmm. I'll roll the D10 again. A two, two, but at least it wasn't a one. Okay, so, so it's 20, 24. 24. 24. Okay, so he's got a roll. He's, uh, let's see, defender where? Attacker, defender, rolls their reflex plus their defensive modifier. Any defensive mode should be like... Uh, Defensive modifier. What's the caliber of your gun? Nine um, millimeter. Nine millimeter. It is a Glock twenty one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think his I rate of fire his, is four. I don't think he's ready to to deflect to a. Yeah, it doesn't. Whatever he's wearing underneath the suit isn't going to protect him from that. Um. So he'll he'll roll his. Sorry, everybody. I'm still, we're still learning the rules. Mm -hmm. So when you're defending against a range combat, you get you roll your reflex. Uh, where's this guy? He has to beat the twenty-four. Yeah. Wow. Um, 
Swab, nerve, pulse. Oh, so his reflex is a D8. Okay. And then any, any applicable defensive modifiers in it because that uh, snapshot carries a penalty giving the target a D, another D8 on their defensive modifier. So we're going to roll 2D8. Nope. Is 8. Okay. So and then what's the damage for your point blank? Oh, um, point blank damage for your D12. gun. 4D12. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guns at close range are bad. Roll 4D12. 26. <laughs> it's like 20. Uh, She'll say uh, terribly sorry if you're just gone with it. And then your 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 health is equal to your pulse, right? I'm sorry. Oh no, okay. I forgot. There's a wound track. Um. Yeah, we only we have 18 hit points, so I mean, <laughs> I did 26. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I do. Minus I mean, his I mean, armor. I have 20, I have, he has 20. Apollo. Oh, sorry, he doesn't. Yeah. Um. um Apollo yeah, has so, 18 hit so he has. Okay. This guy's gonna have. Wait, how much damage did you do? Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. Yeah. So, like, you managed to get the gun and like kind of get it in, up in his gut at an angle, and it just his heart probably explodes. You villain your gun jams. You villainelled him. Yeah. That's fine. I'm okay <laughs> and he, like, with that. Like, oh, and he like you know starts to fall over, you know, like, bleeding out. Unfortunately, your um, gun your gun jammed. Is that the complication? Your gun, your gun is your gun is jammed. Um, oh no, she she re rolled that. She re rolled that. I re rolled it. Oh, she did. Okay, so there's no complication. Yeah, I, All right. I used Good. my fate point, which is probably my only fate point, but we'll go with it. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So now we're we're that was initiative count eight. You can mm -hmm. go again on four. I'm sorry, ten. She can go again on four. Nine. Nobody can go on nine. So we are to eight. Yes, um, I can go on eight. All right. What happens if people can go on the same? Well, I was uh, at 10 and I had to use four. So I go again at six. Yeah. I'm not uh, at eight. Init yeah. Okay. Init let's, let me read the rules so we can all make sure we're on the same page here. Okay. okay. Initiative simple. There's no rolling of die or tallying stats to worry about. Every player simply determines how many action points they have. And it's based on your the value of a reflex die. So if your reflex die is 12, it's 12, 10, 10, so. Um, that's how many action points they'll spend to the round, uh, and they declare their intent. Players are the so we probably need to. I, I missed that. We needed to declare intent before we started the countdown. Okay. Oh, I was going to shoot them. Um, <laughs> yeah, but players at least uh, with the least number of action points declare first. Oh. The administrator then resolves everyone's actions beginning with the highest AP score. The administrator should choose an order of resolution based on the fastest characters. Those with the most AP being able to begin their actions first and keeping in mind the amount of time each action point requires. Since faster cares, characters may perform multiple actions in the round, the administrator should consider when actions may occur simultaneously, taking exact action points Tracking the exact action points can be onerous, so just watch for any situations. Characters may perform any actions. Um, doesn't really say how to resolve when two characters who are. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, another. and you. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and you can adjudicate. Okay. So I was going to put my go. Oh, you got me! You got me! I put my hands up, and then use the flash and my watch to try to blind them. Okay. Good. Good. That's a good idea. Um. He's got the gun, but it's not like, I mean, it wasn't a, you know, cock to your temple. It was just sort of a brandishing the gun. Yeah, yeah, brandishing the gun. As a warning. Um, I guess we could roll off reflex and see who rolls higher to see. Oh, you probably which, get it for me. All right. Um, just knowing how to die. reflex. Roll. What's your reflex? A D8. A D8. Let me see what his is. Uh same thing so yeah 
I got five. So did I. Oh, I didn't roll yet. No. All right. It's been a fight point to re-roll that. That's fine. You should kill me. <laughs> I mean, it's 4d12. I mean, if he shits me, it's 4d12. Actually, you know, the truth is he was giving you a chance to back away. So that, that was actually, now that I think about it, he was giving you a chance to just back away so he didn't have to shoot. Well, I did, so, I did give up. And then I just so you can't him. you can't try that 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 thing. So let's say you got to you've got to beat his. Um, you'll have to you'll have to kind of. Yeah, I'll, I'll read. Like I'll a, read what it says. I mean, however, or if you want me to roll, I mean, my dice have been awful. Was well, it like a misdirection? Like a is bluff. it like a misdirection thing or a bluff? Yeah, yeah, a sleight of hand or something like that. So you want me to do that? So yeah. ten foot, ten feet, ninety degrees, ten rounds, reflex, one day, once a day. Let so, us just grapple yeah, they, him, Carl. No, I meant the to. Oh, I guess if you're going to push the button, yeah, I can't stop you. So, okay. So this does a. This is the flash on your, yeah. your watch. Well, I feel like it. Probably like a, you know, you know those watches that are bio, biometric. Mm -hmm. So. Um, let me look on your input sheet, real quick. Mm -hmm. So what do you, do you want me to roll anything or uh bugs and a camera, trim trace analyzer, blinding flash, blinding flash, 10 feet in a 90 degree arc for 10 frowns reflex once a day. Let me see if there's anything in the book on that kind of equipment real quick. Okay. Uh, or something mm -hmm. comparable. See, yeah, I know we have they have a section on non lethal weapons. Oh, yeah, now they were involuntary incendiaries. While he's looking that up, Kasha would call Apollo and say, Whoops, I did it again. I shot him, I didn't really mean to do that much damage. <laughs> At least he wasn't a civilian, <laughs> he was not a civilian. It is, uh. Special weapons, blowguns, camera, what? pistols. Now you have a mobile shield, by the way. Driver propulsion against vehicles, surveillance, me? underwater yes. equipment. You want right. me to Medical. bring the dead guy with me? Well, he pushed him. Uh, well, I'll let you, after, after we resolve this, if Apollo's still weapons. alive, if Apollo's still alive, he'll let you know what the situation is. Here's some funny, less than lethal weapons. Uh, Dart pistols, dart rifles, darts, an exploding cigar, <laughs> flash, flash bang grenade, I think is what we need to use. Yeah. Um, let's see. This device stuns the victim with a bright flash and loud explosion. This explosion disorients the victim for... Uh, we just need to know how to resolve it because this one says 10 feet, 90 yeah. degrees, 10 rounds, reflex. He probably rolls his so reflex it, first. I, I guess, yeah, there's a, a reflex. But I don't know what that... I guess it's just a reflex save to... Avoid it? To avoid, avoid it? Yeah. Maybe to react enough to cover his eyes or duck his head or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Um. So we'll do... Let's see. So his reflex is a D8. Um, we'll have a D8 for, for the difficulty. And how how many um, how how many action points does this cost me, by the way? And we'll just we'll just do his. We'll say this is a combat because this is sort of a, that's the generic action mm -hmm. to do that. Um, action points. Hand to hand combat, melee, throwing an object, aiming and firing a gun. Firing a bow, a snapshot. Uh, I would say just four. That's kind of the default for for anything. Just you know that you've got okay. to. This is kind of the, the default if there's nothing else. Okay. So that costs you four. You said it was on like sixty page sixty five was on this. Yeah, and he rolls a ten, so he fails. So he he's blinded. Let's see. Let's let's take a look at the uh, the gal behind the counter and see what happens to her. Uh, oh wow! What's that? It's close enough, I guess. 
Yeah. Then you can grab it's, the assets and carry them out. I'll help you. So this difficulty eight. Uh, I can say she's got, I don't think she'd have. Well, that's not what I meant to roll. Mm, she's more of a mook, so I'm going to do sixes for hers. Nope. And then let's let's take a look at the doctor here. What does he get here? Before... Oh, is he, was he behind? Oh, he's in front of me too. Okay. He, he's he's sitting right next to you. So okay. Oh, I guess it is. It's ninety degrees though. I don't know. How did you angle it? But mainly focusing at the guy. So I guess I get the guy and the girl. The doctor you, is behind you know, me. Yeah, he's probably behind it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, they're there's, they're both those poor Swedish this... ladies if they're what? still at the counter ordering ordering. I don't know. Well, yeah, they they're gonna they'd scream and hit the floor anyway. Yeah. You know, when the guy pulled the gun, if they were still in there. So okay. So uh, he like ah, you know, brings his eyes up. She bring brings her eyes up, um, mm -hmm. and so that costs. So now we're that was you were on count eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kasha gets to go again on count six. 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 Okay, so we're down yeah. to count six. I let Kasha know. Um, I guess free, speaking is free action. I go. Uh, one one man with a gun. Uh, one man with a gun. One woman with a a rifle behind the counter, both blinded. All right. Okay. Can I run in and just attempt to grab the the asset? If you want to, yeah. Uh, um, I mean, it's with it's, her, her, her reflex is a G ten. She can move twenty five feet with four AP. Yeah, you you got you can get in there no problem. Okay, and what do I have to roll to to grab him? Grapple or I'm gonna say he's a he's a frail old man and he's like probably you just scared the crap out of him. <laughs> so you could probably just grab him and he's like, oh. I'll grab him and he's Russian also, if I remember correctly. Uh he's he's actually uh I thought you said he's a Russian defector. No. He was a KGB researcher who went underground, but Van Van Dyke Van Dyke is Dutch, yeah. Is his Dutch is a Dutch name. Yep. So we well, you know he'd know Russian. Yeah, yeah, she would say in Russian, I am here. It is time to go. I have car waiting. Can you, you move to, fast you're enough to or do I need to carry you? <laughs> I have to <like> intimidate. <laughs> you can intimidate. Yeah. See if you can intimidate him. That's a good I'm one. looking for where intimidate is. Okay, I have a D six in intimidation because that's a swab. So D six, yeah, blow up. And his nerve, he's got I a pretty good nerve. Wow, oh, we're just awful at this. All right. And then another D six, right? And the D eight. Yep. Or do I even have a fate point? Can I use a fate point? You you do have fate left. Yes. Okay, I will use another fate to reroll that. Okay. And I got a six. So oh, that blows again. up. Roll it again. That was a good use. Yay. That's ten. A ten. All right. Okay. okay. And that is a and ten a, and then another D six. So he's pretty yeah, it's it's whatever your skill die is. A D six. Yeah. Okay, so throw your other D six. Thirteen. So three and then Okay. He's pretty nervy, so I would say roll a D six instead of a D eight. He's he's you know, he's old and he's frail, but he's not two. Right. So 15. So what's that? 15. So it, it nevertheless intimidates him. You beat the 13. Okay. I will grab his briefcase. He probably has a flashback as a former KGB researcher of an angry woman yelling at him with Russian, pointing a gun at him. <laughs> the the obedience, that. The, the, the instinct to be, <laughs> obey just like kicks in. <laughs> She'll just put him over her shoulder and walk out. No, he, get, he gets up and lets you drag him. He like, you know, he's clutching his briefcase and Oh no! I took his briefcase away from him. He doesn't have okay. to keep that. Yeah, he he gets up and, and and will follow you. Let's go. Okay. Well, I guess. Uh, yeah. How big is? I guess she can move. Well, I, I guess that's. She just grabs him and starts moving out. It doesn't. Okay. Move out. How long? How long did that? How long did that blinded thing last? Ten. It said ten rounds. Ten rounds. Okay. So. Uh, um. I mean, the guy can still shoot. You know. I don't yeah. Know how... He. Uh. We're gonna. Yeah. So. We're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna take away his. Uh, it's a, it's a wild shot, but he, based on where you were sitting, 
he's going to try to well we'll go to a new round won't we mm -hmm. um uh, will we i mean i oh well, okay if we're if i get another action unless he starts shooting wildly no he hasn't shot yet he's he's mm. okay so i'm gonna uh if I, I have two more points left uh -huh. in this round uh -huh. so i'm going to like um like crawl under the table you're going to drop move, under the table. Yeah, I can move like five feet. Uh, yeah, okay. Five, yeah. With two action points, I can crawl five, five feet. Yeah. Okay. Because I said I can move normally 10 feet with two action points. My, okay. Because so my you, you, you reflexes drop, you drop down. You, you, you drop down and yeah. under the table so that yep. you're not where it's he was pointing where the was, gun. The general, yeah. Generally where he's pointing the gun. Okay. Right, right. All right. Um, I'm going to say he fire. He just fires, you know. Okay. Just because he can, but he, he can't. He doesn't. So it's a wild, you know. Okay. Can Kasha and yell he, back just, at just, him and just, say, just, you, should, just, uh, you should not he had a fire He's got a Glock, Randy. if it matters. Okay. Glock 17 is what he's wielding. Yeah. But can Kashio yell over her shoulder to him who was just randomly firing, say, you should not have done that. Now you killed your friend outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> Plausible deniability. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So we'll, we'll, that's new round. We'll go back to count. Well, what's everybody going to do this round? All right. Um, Kashio wants to throw him in the car. You're going to drag him out? Get him in the car. Okay. okay. You're going to drag him to the car? That's just and then I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna draw and like just fire, you know, like fire pop, pop at the, the two people who are blinded. Okay. But, you know, I'm not going to aim fire. I'm just going to shoot, you know. Okay. Um. So I, gotta, I, draw my, I have to draw my pistol and like, you know, snapshot. So, again... Kosh is the fastest. Ken, you're going to drag this guy behind you, and you're just going to take him out to the car? Yes. Okay, you can... Uh, it probably slows you down a little bit. She moves, she kinda, moves fast. I mean... <laughs> I move really fast. But but you've got, a, you've got this guy kind of dragging you down, so... Yeah. But I could just put them over my shoulder. Running can go... I don't know what, that I have to feet run. Four action points. Yes. Sprinting or running, however they... Is there not a walking? No, I guess it assumes you're moving as fast as possible. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, it, the car's just right... You know, the car's like outside across the and across street. the street, so you know, yeah. you're, you're talking about 30 feet or so, so you can you can get him out the door and, and pretty close to the car. Yeah. She would be um, yelling the whole time in Russian. Let's go, let's okay. go, let's go, let's go. Faster, young man, faster. Okay, so you, you get him out. He kind of, when he sees the guy, like, bleeding out on the sidewalk. Um, <laughs> Pay no attention to him. Blind guy shot him. Okay, so so we get down to eight. Oh, wait a minute, Carl, what, you were going to try to shoot the guy? Yeah, I was going to, you know, snapshot the guy. Okay, you, you get the sense he's going to try to, Go to try to figure out where you're at. The uh, chick that is blinded is still like, ah, um, just get out of there, Apollo. I think she, she's going to drop down behind the counter. Okay. On her turn, but she's she's slower than you guys. So mm -hmm. so we get to count eight. Um, yeah. And you're just going to snapshot him. Uh. Just leave. So aim and firing a handgun is takes all your action points if you want to aim. No, but I wanted to like snapshot so then I can move too. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um snapshot, so that's his reflex plus defensive defensive modifiers, but I feel like because he's blinded, it's he shouldn't get his his reflex or you know, we should downgrade that somehow. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna. What is my? I don't even know what my gun shooting is. Okay, so 
tell you what, I'm going to downgrade his reflexes because of that. So he's, he's he's close, right? He's not. He's between four and eleven feet. Yeah, so you're gonna have to beat a ten because that's what that's what he got on his def defense to so snap shoot him, snapshot him. All right. So okay. So I roll. So I'm rolling a D10 with my reflex. You're stupid enough to come in here in bicycle shorts and a in a. Yeah. So I got a D8, <laughs> a D8, a D10, armor. and a D6, right? Uh huh. A D. Sorry, D. Sorry, I did, my reflex is an eight. Mm -hmm. A gun at close range is a ten. And then, um, wait, on uh, my handgun. That's sorry. It's your handgun skill, and then the, yeah. yeah, handgun is D8. So two D8 and a D10. Okay. So here's the first D8. Three. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an eight for a second. I was like, oh uh, no. A second D8. Ten. Ten. So you're gonna you're gonna do it because he he's he only rolled a ten for and his the last D8. But go ahead and roll and see what happens. Thirteen. Okay, so you can roll damage. So the damage at close range is a D10. Is that it? I figure that it would do more. How is a Glock a 4D6 and a... Uh, I'm showing that a Glock is a D12 at point blank. 2D12 at point blank. 4D12. It said 4D, something said 4D12. Maybe that... It should be 4D12 because I have a Glock and mine is 4D12. Yeah, point blank. It should be... Let me yeah. let me look. Yeah, Gl Glock at point blank is four D twelve. Handgun. Okay. Uh, point blank. Now it's showing two D twelve in the rule book. That's weird. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. Well, how many? How many? Can you fire it three times? Is that how that works? Because I have a rate of fire of three. Or how the does Glock that work? is a rate of fire of four. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. So I can fire three times. I believe so. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not like it's like click, 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 right? Yeah. The Glock. Or with any, I have a M forty-five, but yeah. Okay. Well, that's the first shot. So I got one hit, I guess. So second shot. Uh, jeez. No. There's a miss, and I think you're gonna. You have to roll. You have to roll an attack for each shot, though. I think. Yeah, I know. So, uh, I rolled an eight. So far, but the first one was a. Uh, it's gonna jam after this, so I got a nineteen. But the first. Um... Okay, you still hit him. Yeah, but it's gonna after this last shot. Oh, there's a complication. There's a complication. Okay. okay. All right. After this. And then. Um, so the last the last shot. Again. Yeah, the okay. Last yeah. Shot, last shot. That's an eight. Yeah, you beat it. He's he only got a seven. So 10, and then, but the first one is a whatever. And then uh, 14. So 19 again on that one. Is there anything, okay, if, you get, so, if you get a crit, does that mean anything? Uh, I don't think there's a critical. Okay. So it's going to be 3D10. Who to craw, range combat, fighting styles. Range damage. It's pressing fire. No, I don't see anything on critical damage. Okay. It's, I mean, it's not in there, but I don't, it's not jumping out to me. So, yeah, you get all three hits. Unfortunate. 10 points of damage. Okay. How many? How many? You got, what's your, you've got the. Yeah, I got only got seven round, uh 10 rounds, it says in this one. Eight. Let's see. What's his pulse? Okay, how much, how much you did ten all together? Yeah, I winged him. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of snapshotting, so you know. Okay, all right. Uh, Pasha's he... gonna go over the radio and say, "Get in the car, Apollo." He's blind. Uh, let's see if he's gonna take a wild. Uh. Yeah, he's gonna kind of he's gonna try to lower his gun and fire, okay. blind, see if he can hit you. Uh, so what you need to do is roll. Uh, the Glock is a what, what's the caliber of a Glock? Nine, Nine millimeter. So so yeah, you got D four. You it'll be your your reflex, and then you get to add D four for your your reflex plus your combat. 
plus uh, the D4 for your armor because it's pretty good armor. Reflex combat. Okay. Boop. Where is combat? I'm looking for that. It's just whatever your basic combat skill is. Oh, is that the hand-to-hand -hand thing? I guess it's D8. I only have hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, there it is. No. Oh, wait a minute. No, you don't roll your combat. It's just your defensive brief your 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 reflex plus any defensive modifiers. Oh wow. No, it says reflex plus combat hand to hand or marks weapon. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Def re re reflex combat and defensive modifier. And the defensive okay. modifier is your armor. Okay. So Okay, so that that'll tell me what I have to beat as he takes a blind shot. Or that was the attribute. Five, yuck, and then was well, a oh a D four. Uh, geez, he only needs a seven. Okay, so let's see his reflex. Find his. Uh, he's blind. So that should give a defensive. Um... I don't think he'll get it. Yeah, he's not going to. I'm just saying because he's blinded, and it's rolls. It's like that. You know, you, you give him a smaller and smaller die. The diff more difficult it is. At some point, you can just take that third die out of the pool and say, "This is really difficult. You're not even going to get the the benefit of that de decision die." So I'm going to yeah. say that here. Okay. He still hit me. I didn't dodge. Oh, but he's, he's got his gun, though, doesn't he? I forgot about the gun. Yeah, yeah. Um, range combat attack or oh, plus, plus weapon and assets. Okay, I see. So, so what I should be doing is downgrading his reflex. And the Glock is a what? What is it? That's close the, range. Point close range. I was probably, I was there a second ago. At close range, a Glock is a D6. Okay. So we got a D6 for his weapon. Mm -hmm. um, I'm downgrading his reflexes by quite a bit. If you don't kill him and he comes through, I want him to know that his stray shot shot, shot the guy outside, not Kasia. Yeah, seven. It's so exactly. <laughs> That's he exactly. Missed you. He missed you. Why? Yeah. Oh, does if you defend, Ty goes to defender. And both attacker and defender add asset dice. Hit occurs if the attacker's total is equal or greater than the defender's. So he hit me. Cause I got. I only got a seven. A four, okay. two, and a one. All right. Uh, so and dam the... damage, I think, is a D10. I just there. Damage is a no. Damage is a. It says 2D12 at close, but I don't. Is that right? Yeah, because you've been doing 4D12 at point blank. That's crazy. That doesn't sound that, right. That doesn't sound right. That, that, that didn't sound right. I mean, doesn't even sound right that a Glock does more than a 45, but. My Glock? Let's see. Could my be an Glock. error in the. My Glock does D10 point blank, D6 close, D4. No, that's the accuracy. Medium. The okay. damage. And then the damage is 4D12. At point blank, 2D12 at close, it says here, but DJ in the book says it's different. So it's it's a D10 at point blank is your asset, like the die you roll for the gun to see if you right. hit. And then it says 2D12 point blank, 2D10 close range 2d8 medium range and 2d6 long range that's crazy that the, the glock is now which one is the 45 the m1911 that doesn't make sense but the 1911 does less okay damage. that's a i think they're i think the the databases we're using are from a different rule set than the core book 
which are probably more accurate. So let's go with that. <laughs> which one? Uh, whatever you, whatever it says on your character sheet. Then the two D twelve is like that's great. That's crazy that a Glock does two D twelve, and a M nineteen M nineteen eleven does only a D ten at close range. Hmm. So forty five. Okay. So 11, 12 points. Okay. Okay. 12 points of damage? Yep. And then the, the girl behind the counter just hits the floor. And we're on a new round. So what are you guys going to do with this round? Asha's going to yell at Apollo to get in the car. As it is, I have the driver ready to go. Told him to turn around, come. All you have to do is get into the back seat. Oh, Glock. A Glock is a 45. Okay. Glock 21 is a 45. That's what I should have. Then, oh well. I'm going to get a new gun. I'm still, <laughs> so what do I, so I do, so what, how do I do damage? I got 12, took 12 points. I got six points left. Yeah, you take them off that, that little damage track so it, comes off your what's your what's your pulse uh pulse is d8 yeah why don't you throw your character sheet for a second so people can see kind of how it works okay yeah so you've got you've got a number of hit points so you take your your whatever your uh, I've taken 12 damage. Yeah, whatever your pulse is. Oh, um, I can't add this. Cancel. Hit OK. No. Whatever your pulse is, you got... Um, Do you have to put it over here on in the input sheet? I can't put it here. No, you were right. Put it where you had it and then hit OK. OK. So I took 12 damage. Hit the green button. OK. All right. But you can see how you've got, like, um, you know... Yeah. You've got eight hit points because that's your pulse. And then when you run out, it goes down to you got six and it goes down to four. Yeah. So, and if you were like at a D10, if you were, your pulse was a D10, you'd have 10 more hit points. So it, it kind of winds down like that. So, anyway. what do you, what do you do with these D8s? D, what do you do with that? So, I took 12 that damage just, and then what? Uh, I, I think traditionally, if it's like a paper character sheet, you just tick them off. Like, oh, so what I would tick off 12 of these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I have first aid that I can so do. I'd be before. okay. Well, I can't, it doesn't let me do that. Should no, I, I don't know. But I so I'm at a d6 effectively now. Is that right? Well, you, no, you, you lost your eight, yeah. Um, and then you uh, is, there a, is there a penalty or what happens? And then you when would you lose. Um, so if I have to do no, a that's just that's just showing that's just showing how your hit points are calculated. You've got eighteen hit. You've got oh okay. There's no like if you finish the first track, you're not at minuses now. You, yeah, if you finish the first track, you just go on to the next one. That's just okay. kind of showing you how your, your right. hit points are calculated. All right. Okay. All she right. shoots wildly. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm okay. Gonna... So we're at a twelve. We count down that's to ten. A... Well, I went at Crush eight. It. Uh, that's a four. So, yeah, what, I can what, go next in four. What are you going to do? Oh, going I'm, to I'm run sorry, in right. there and grab you. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. That's right. You, you had another option at four. So what are you going to do at four? Um, You're going to leave. Am I? I don't know. Yeah, you are. Because the longer you stay in there, the more you put our operation in danger. You need to get him to the safe house. You need the guy is, is blind and he, stole, and he shot me. Get into the car. Yes. Um. Let's see. Let's I, I did car. a. That I did means he can't I can snap. He's, he's gonna, actually gonna snap. He's gonna get to try to shoot you again. What? No. Well, get well in now the that car. you've got it out, get it's just a shot car. without aiming. Oh, it's two two more you shots. Could, you could shoot. You could. Um... It's still a snapshot, isn't it? Because I haven't aimed well, you, at him. You snapped it. You snapshot. So you already got it out and pointed the gun at him. So yeah. if the gun is there. Now you can just try to aim, act more accurately. And it's okay. just to shoot him. Yeah, you can shoot without aiming, or you can. You've got. I think you've got enough action points. 
Yeah, I got to, four. Yeah, it's four to aim and shoot. And then if I sprint like out the door, I can move twenty if, feet. Is that out enough to be out the door? Well, if you, it, yeah, if, uh, yeah, that's easy to get out the door. Okay. I would have had him pull the car up. All you had to do was get in. Well, we don't, I just run across the street. Okay, so you're going to run out the door? Yeah, I run out the door. Okay. Um, he is going to try to shoot you again. You're a moving target. It's made it even worse. Um, He's blind. Yeah. So I downgraded his thing. There's his combat. So I got to roll that. Should shoot him with her sniper sniper N rifle? Not yet. He's not even outside yet. She can shoot through the window. Probably not this round. Next round, you could probably do it. She spent your round dragging that guy to the car, right? Yeah. Well, it'll it'll be when we the, the round starts again. She can finish doing that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go. Point, point. Oh, it's only a d6. I'm, oh. If I move 20, 20 more feet, then or he's going to try to shoot half. you again, but he only gets an eight. So go ahead and, and roll your defense. What is that again? Eight? It's uh, it's your uh, reflex, reflex, and uh, my armor. I wonder why the defender didn't get to roll their combat. Yeah, I did. I had me roll your com as combat or. Marksman. I'm, I'm looking at the rule and it says that the defender defender aware defender rolls reflex defensive modifiers defender underwear un unaware defender rolls their combat must be a misprint I guess if you're unaware you don't get to roll your combat it must be a misprint in the book okay they got got it backwards All right, so second d8 yeah is an eight and then my Okay, so you're gonna clear it. Two. Yep. So yeah, he 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 misses you, and you're able okay. to get out the door. All right. Uh, with your your movement, and I think at this point, your guys are able to get into the car and take off. Okay, that's cool. Okay. okay. All right. That's it. I mean, make it safely to the to the embassy. They sneak you in, and I need some first aid. I'm hit. Okay. Cock, you want to, you know, I can't believe one. I missed that guy. I can't believe I missed that guy. So first aid. My first aid is a D10, or should I do my paramedic? Uh, what D10. does paramedic do? I don't know. But That's I have nice. a first aid kit, and I'm also a paramedic, so they're both D10. Let's see what paramedic does. Uh, specialized skill. First aid, paramedic, operational skills used to stabilize critically injured or ill patients. Yeah. And so also first aid. Common. It's, well, it's, it's more than just, I mean, first aid is like what a Boy Scout learns. <laughs> paramedic is like this person's in cardiac arrest, you know, start an IV, mm -hmm. you know, the stuff you'd be doing in the back of an ambulance. Right. Um, so which, which would you prefer to first aid? I mean, they're both D10. Um. Functional knowledge, so yeah. Uh, It'd be reflex is the reflex. It and looks then, like paramedic is the only first aid skill. Yeah, it first, it's first aid, skills. and then so proficiency is paramedic. So, parent okay, skill yeah. is first aid. And reflex. Reflex is a D ten. Paramedic is a D ten, and then what would be the third one that I roll? Um. Let me see. Uh, first first D10 is a five. Is that under tech? Is that a tech skill or is that a? It's under reflex. Com it's combat. Combat. So you'll roll reflex combat and then your or reflex. Okay. Uh, D10. I did that. And the default difficulty is is a eight. So. Well, wait a minute. It might be different. Hold on a second. I'll start over that. Uh, I'll clear. Sorry. That. <laughs> no, just just don't. I know. You, I know for sure you roll all those two die. Uh, what'd you roll? I didn't hear. Here's a D10. That's a four. And then what else am I rolling? Uh, you roll your reflex, your skill. Um, 
which is two d tens. So I'm at nine right now. Oh, and sorry, then... I was totally looking it up. Sorry, everyone, you're seeing, you're watching the book as we're we looking said for this combat, which is health. Here we go. So tech uh, is tech training. So it's tech first aid. Roll okay. After receiving first aid, roll intellect. Intellect, which is stepping up for the first aid specialized skill if applicable. Mm -hmm. For the person providing the first aid. Okay, so start so you're, with intellect. So so you're trained in first aid, right? Yes. So you just roll your intellect, but roll one one die higher. Okay. So your your intellect Six. is what? My intellect? Uh-huh. My intellect is a, is D6. a D6. So you roll a D8. She did. She got a six. I got a six. Okay, so you get that many hit points back. Six. Six hit okay, points. Okay, that makes much more sense. If a first aid kit is used, add its asset die. Oh, so she's so, a first aid kit. So roll. So what D6. first aid kit? What was the yeah. first aid kit asset? It was. What do you right. mean? What was my skill in it? A D6. Roll another yeah, D six. You get to roll another D six because you have the first aid. Because he's the first aid kit. Okay, another D six. Okay. Which is a yeah. four, so right. ten. Ten. Yeah. That's that's All the right. maximum. So. All right. So I'm too. I'm still injured, but that's the maximum that you can yeah, get she's, is she's, ten from a traumatic yeah. injury, which so, is a gunshot wound. You guys are able to make it to the to the embassy. Okay. And that could that's have gone. it. I could have gone south. <laughs> I thought I was going to yeah. die. I thought that guy was going to get me. Yeah. She'll give Green a little kiss on his cheek for getting them there safely just because she was intimidating him earlier. Okay. Wow. She means absolutely nothing by it, but. <laughs> yep. All right. So and I think, we you made... know, we, we, had a, we had a few slowdowns where we had to look at the rules. But I think as you, we have to look things up, but as we kind of learned a little more, I think it'll go pretty smoothly. It's just knowing what to put in your dice pool, knowing how to, to me, knowing as, a, as the administrator to tell you what to adjust, if there's some sort of situation that needs you to adjust it. And then, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I do want to, right. I do want to show this, hold on. Cause it's just, uh, let do that yet. So if you, I just want people to look to see all the, we, the, I like it, but I think that's part of the learning process is learning all the different, you know, all the jargon, right? Like guerrilla tactics. Yeah. Uh, dry cleaning, you know, what is that? You know what I mean? Maybe some people, if you read enough of these types of novels, you get it, but yeah, you know, backstopping. And, 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 and to be fair, we made these characters like two months ago and then had, yeah, had a chance a to play and we just kind of came in cold about cold 30 reading, minutes before we started re <laughs> recording. Yeah, there's like, like my character has like this illusion sleight of hand stuff, you know. I guess mm -hmm. I could have, oh well. Uh, but you know, I was, the dice weren't with me on some of those things and I, I'm good at that stuff and I just rolled one after one. This is yep. crazy. Oh, well. well okay. Thank you for okay. running, BJ. Thank you for running, BJ. So if we if we play again, uh, I'll need to look up. There is sort of the, you get paid for succeed, for a successful mission, and that affects, starts mm -hmm. to, you know, increase your, move you towards increasing up in your, your um, clearance rating, your clearance level, and and mission points and things like that, which you then use. The mission points you use to invest in improving your skills. Yeah. Or acquiring yeah. new ones. So well cool. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks again, BJ, for running. Mm -hmm. Just good. I like I like spy stuff. I like modern spy stuff. It can be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um this is a genre I really like, but I'm not like 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 a fantasy or even sort of sort of a space opera sci fi. I can probably come up with scenarios once I kind of know the rules and the setting. This is a new one where I don't think I'm I'm ready to create my own adventures, but there's um, plenty of there's yeah, plenty I mean, of them out there to, to pull from. So. Yeah, I feel like I totally I like this genre. I, we ran I ran a Merc 2000 campaign for a long time back in the day, yeah. and that was with some cumbersome. Well, I don't know. I, I feel like when when we were younger, these com complicated rules we still got, but now if we, people would say, "Oh, it's too slow. Or it's cumbersome." But I did run it last year. On my for my birthday, Twilight Two Thousand, the second edition, and it, it worked pretty well. So, okay, 
Well, thank, thank you so much again. I, I did. I do like the mechanic is pretty easy once you get it. Again, I think it's like the jargon yeah. and the procedural that we need to get down. But the base yeah. mechanic is just dice. You know, figure out your die pool and roll it. So, yep. yeah, probably what I I could do on that on that. I have a post note up there if we're going to use Albert Rodeo. The reason we're using Albert Rodeo, um, is because uh, none of the VTTs have a module to allow you to do the dice pool so mm -hmm. whatever vtt you're using you're gonna have to hand you know kind of hand yeah, assemble your die pool yeah. and the die ruler so this is the simplest one to throw stuff up on and use mm -hmm. but that post-it note where i you know i got a red one that's like the threat track i could probably put like a a green one or a blue one up there and just count it to visually count down the right the uh the action point you know counting down from 12 and then yep. just, that's pretty easy to do just as a visual reminder of what's going on so we're, we're, were we out of eight points? Nope. Uh, you had four left and Amy had two. Okay. Well, thank right. you for thank running. You. All right. So maybe we should be more risky and use them anyway. I yeah. Tried. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. All right. Thank you so much again, BJ. Thank yeah. you everyone for listening. I hope you've enjoyed our uh, top secret New World Order. Uh, kind of play test but you know kind of short combat scenario short scenario and hopefully we'll get back to it i again i do like this genre i do like the spy stuff okay all right mm -hmm. i've got a full adventure that we can run next so cool we'll be good all right. amy you want to say the say the thing good night and good rolling <laughs>